Here is the path to the dark side. David Hollander was one of the lead researchers on the mission. CNN was there as the Weatherbird 2 returned from its 10-day mission studying the Gulf waters. 14 scientists pulling their newfound data off the ship. Do you feel like you're kind of on the, on the verge of really getting a better understanding of what's going on underneath the water? Well, I think we're adding to the puzzle. We're adding to the pieces of the puzzle. This is where we found the sedimentary. Hollander and another expert on the journey, John Paul, sat down with CNN for an exclusive review of their findings. The USF scientists say they found toxic levels of oil and dispersants infecting marine organisms just 40 miles south of Panama City, Florida. The organisms, called phytoplankton and other microscopic bacteria in the ocean, are the foundation of the food chain. What feeds and fuels the uh, ecology of the ocean. And if those guys are in trouble, then the ocean's in trouble. So far, federal government scientists have downplayed the impact of microscopic oil making its way up the food chain. This is what the head of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration said earlier this month. Fish will degrade that oil and process it naturally. And so it doesn't bioaccumulate. So it's not a situation where we need to be concerned about that. Over time, it will be broken down. USF scientists tell CNN that is a short-sighted view of the danger. NOAA officials haven't responded to these latest scientific findings. The 10-day mission in the Gulf of Mexico was a rocky voyage. The scientists were battered with 12-foot seas and strong storms, taking them within 25 miles of the deep water horizons of Philippi. All along the way, they found microscopic droplets of oil on the ocean floor. And here is a sedimentary record from an area that's uh, about 1,500 meters water depth, right adjacent to the deep water horizon. Using UV light on the sediment, the microscopic oil stands out easily. You can see them all spread out all over. There's no reflection. Some of those were before. This is all speckled. And when you turn off the light completely, it looks like the southern sky. It looks like a constellation of stars. It looks like a constellation of stars. But most troubling to David Hollander is evidence that the submerged oil is making its way through a region of the Gulf of Mexico known as the DeSoto Canyon. The canyon stretches from just east of the Deepwater Horizon spill site to an area south of Panama City. So the concern is not only that you found the droplets of oil widespread, uh, is, but where you found it. Yeah, it's becoming now into these areas that are critical marine protected areas, critical habitats for commercial recreation fish. And well, BP officials told us they haven't had a chance to review uh, some of this latest scientific data coming back, but they did tell us uh, that they welcome all of this kind of information and they've committed some $500 million to the long-term study and the impact on marine life. Meanwhile, these scientists here at the University of South Florida will remain in the lab pouring over this new data for the next couple of weeks, and they're planning another trip for, uh, for later in September. Well, Ed Lavendero reporting for us from St. Peter's for Florida. Thanks, Ed. Thanks very much. Our country under Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering.